Good afternoon. NASDAQ daily chart, NASDAQ comp, MMTs, live here on Saturday, 528. We're going to take a look at the actual topping reversal. Okay, rather, we had called what led the market down when we called the top right here in February. Uh, this is that week, 218. The following week, we were telling people we were going to be putting in a top. I mean, this is a daily. That was on 217. And we were putting in this three-day top on 216, 2011, right through here. Then we said kabam, and then we made a bottom. Technology that was in the NASDAQ comp was the leader down in that bottom. And we rallied, and we made higher highs. What it really comes down to, MMTs, is that bull rallies like that, here, let's go ahead and update it, and let's get the diamond alerts. But bull rallies have pullbacks at certain overbought levels on daily, weekly, and monthly charts that you'll learn more about. However, we did take out this high right over here. We put a bottom in. Technology led the move down, and then we came back, and we put in another high where we said, we're now we're really overbought and that we would have a pullback and on the, we had these big reversal days right down here to where the last part of that rally made that top we got right down in this little line right here and remember MMTs that forward looking it's 15.64 this coming week after the holidays over okay so on Tuesday it's going to be 15.64 per line up or down doesn't matter once again it's going to equal strength or weakness it's that simple just so you know the thing about reversals is you can see where we had the daily gap to the high this was on 5-2 where we were calling that original one and we had a counter rally we could never close back up above 28.73.80 it's right here that's the factual part of it okay and immediately had a reversal bar breaking below 2861 this counter trend is always starting with a left descending price action and closing again below this half bar this counter daily up move bar upside volatility met with downside volatility right away and each time that we bounced we made lower lows in the trend so the first bounce counter rally we made a lower low right here than this low then we have a low that gets put in over here with the counter rally and we break this low to here last week we have three up days what the problem is you're gonna have to consolidate above 2808 right here the next major area of resistance over here is 2844.55, or I'm sorry, 2844.51. That date was 5-13-2011. So that's those upside price areas of resistance. This key major down bar right here, though, 2803 is a minimum consolidation was which is right here at this closing top we closed at no 2796.86 on the nasdaq comp okay it's right here 27.96 okay so basically what we're looking at is if that buyer is not in there and we're looking for buy action rally bars like these right here mnt's if we come back down here on the lower end and test this bar right here that's 2771.70 right here 2771. so if we come down and test that but once you do test something at support it's got to be the half bar and it better be an upside bar that follows because that would be the commitment of the buyer is stronger than the seller MMTs and MMTs it will naturally show up here in your SMF MMT platform okay which is not a public platform but a you know it's how markets are made with the public and right now we have these moves coming in that people bought last week they bought technology but remember last week was a very light upside volume and it was a holiday week and so 
basically what I really want to make clear and evident is that if we get a gap down bar that looks like this and it gaps below that half bar we're going to easily take out these last lows down here so every counter rally failure failure this is the top these are the volatility upside reversals within the actual trend structure and who is that really that's the buyers and the sellers in the NASDAQ comp buying the broader market. There was some buying going into the end of the month called portfolio dressing. And so there were some people who wanted to buy the end of the calendar month of May going into June. And that's, you know, mutual fund buyers and, you know, all those people out there, okay? So at the end of the month, that's what happened. If I break below half of this bar right here at 27.21.91 that's where that gap bar was we would break that low but if we came down there and we did not bounce off support if we do get that reversal downside we don't know until next week so what at least we're prepared where we're going to bounce and we're, we got a plan set up so we've got to consolidate half of this bar at 27.71 and we closed at 27 uh, uh, we closed at 2782.92 on that three minute uh, last bar on 526. That was a bar that that was that closing bar there 2782 that's going to be 92 so there's uh, 92 and 86 and there's also going to be that 2761. This bar is the key MMT. If we come down, we have to bounce like a rocket. If we don't, and we get a gap down bar, and if we take out this half bar right here, this half bar here is going to be the, the really final bar, and that's 27.55.62. Uh, that would be a reversal. That would be a, a, a lower support level that we could test, and if we do, you better have, we better see the buyers would really have to commit at that level and really have to bounce. If we have a sell through, we're short. If we have a bounce, we're long in that case scenario. If we come up here and hit one of these half bars up here at 2844.51 and it fails, we would look at shorting equities again. We'll, we'll take a look how the month of June starts. Just remember, this is a reversal and these counter rallies have failed every time between the buyer the seller has been on top the buyer comes in but then once they're gone we make lower lows so there wasn't any other type of people coming back in on each one of these bounces so that's the downside that's the upside um, do any of the MMTs have any questions about the NASDAQ comp just remember that these reversals are what they are and bottoms get put in like it did here we made it, so this was a bull rally with a bull reversal to another bull rally high and right now we're in another bull yearly reversal but let us not forget it's June of 2011 and June can historically be a month that can be quite weak for the markets as well so we're still in bull rallies with bull rally reversals we're going to see if this one here stops here or not or if it sells through doesn't matter what does matter is how you're going to interact with the market on that interday level as far as selling stock short or getting long stocks off the bottom NASDAQ daily chart 